What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the two new companions, Sharp as Night and Azadar, that will be coming with the Necrom chapter. Now, of course, they're both available right now in the public test server. This is the first week of the public test server. But just pretty much a general thing how to unlock these. If you are newer to the game, once the Necrom, uh, Necrom chapter releases, you will have to complete the quest in the Necrom zone for each of those uh, companions. Once you do that, they will be unlocked and be able to be found in your collectibles. And you either can have a companion or assistant active at one time. And once unlocked, other characters on your account will need to also complete the uh, introductory quest to unlock those companions as well. So that has not changed yet in the Necrom chapter. A lot of people were hoping that they were going to eventually, Zoss would eventually make it so you only have to unlock companions one time and they would be account wide instead of having to, do them, having to do them with each character. But sadly, that's not the case just yet. Now, when it comes to companions in general, they do have a passive perk ability which benefits you while the companion is active and that can be seen in the companion menu. This perk may also be permanently unlocked via the com uh, companion achievement accomplishment. So with this, or with these two new companions, Sharp will offer something for all of you fishing enthusiasts out there. Uh, improved chance to find a trophy fish and slightly reduced real time. I'm not sure how popular this will be. I know there's a lot of people out there that like fishing and enjoy fishing in game, but then there's probably some that don't do it at all. So I'm not sure exactly how popular Sharp will be as a companion, but if you are a person that does enjoy fishing in game, this will definitely be the companion for you. And when it comes to Azandar gives you a chance to discover research portfolios when searching containers. Portfolios can contain crafting recipes, treasure maps, research notes, survey reports, and other documents of value, which does sound pretty handy if you're one of those people that enjoy going out and you know searching those containers and everything you're doing, whether it be dungeons or just out in the open world, uh, overland content. That can be pretty handy because there's a lot of us that like to look for recipes, you know, for whether it be furnishing or uh, something of that nature, you know, uh, provisioning recipes, treasure maps. I know there's a lot of people that like to do those research notes, survey reports. Some of those things could be, come in very handy or the documents of value. But it sounds like a way that you can make some gold if you start to get good documents that are higher gold value that you can sell. So I think Azandara, out of all of the uh, companions we have, ha has some pretty neat uh, passive perk abilities and of course out of the two new ones here sharp and azandar i think azandar is going to be probably the most popular just because of that ability to find those extra things uh in those containers so leave me a comment let me know what you think uh, let, let me know what you think you know kind of about what these two new companions offer let me know what you think about the companions we have in general and kind of the passives and what companion you feel like is probably the most beneficial to you as a player of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.